those saplings? Um, so I went to a gathering. Yep, it was really fun. It was my first gathering. And I have footage. Uh, it's Jordan. I'm about to go to a YouTube gathering right now in Pumpkin Gas. Um, I'm on my way. I'm really excited but nervous because I've never been to a YouTube gathering. So it's for the Dan 3.0 gathering road trip thing that he's doing. So I'm kind of excited. I've never been to a YouTube gathering because there's like never any in my area. So this is exciting. Yeah, I'm excited and nervous. Clammy hands and whatnot. Anyways, people are staring. Bye. It was really funny because Danielle, Dan's girlfriend, tried to keep walking up these hills and kept sliding down because her shoes had absolutely no traction on them. And it was funny because Dan, uh, instead of helping her, being the heroic person that he is, uh, was just filming her. Hey everybody! So I'm at the DP30 gathering and there's only like five people here? Would you say? Like five people? I think eight. Eight people. Eight people have like come and gone. And a dog. But and a dog. What's, what's your name? Jason. Or Matt. If you're on YouTube, and Matt's vlog. Cool. I recognized him. I ran into him trying to find Dan and Danielle, and I was yeah. like, "Where are and, they? And you look familiar. And you're wearing a Nerd Fighter shirt. So yeah, you must course. be. You must be from YouTube." And and there's so few people here that it, we almost didn't find them. I know. I, I literally walked past them, and I and she recognized me, or at least my shirt instead. We turned around and we walked by them again, and that's how we found them. Yeah. I believe in you. Okay. Okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. But yeah, I have to go soon. I have to go soon. And um, but this has been really fun. You guys want to say say something? Yeah. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hey, hey, I got a good idea. You do you have four words? Do I have four words? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't have. Oh, damn, it's five. <laughs> well, today's like the five word day, remember? I don't have four. <laughs> so technically, you don't have four words. See, the pressure is on to be so witty. Like, I'm, 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 are you filming this whole thing? Like, me just sitting, standing here going, like, what do I want to say? Yeah. Like, okay, this is, okay, all right, all right. And my battery is on, so you gotta hurry oh, okay, up. Okay, 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 okay. He's taking the four words. Not. You're like four words. This gathering is cozy. Yay! Yay! It's cozy. That's a good one. It word. is cozy. It's a cozy gathering. And the sunset is beautiful. This is beautiful. Like, it's the beautiful scenery, oh, beautiful day. There, there and it's fall and it's lovely. On my camera. And I'm going to do that. You're Molly. Yes. Yes. And she didn't know about this gathering and she just ran into us. I don't have the been, internet. Yeah. She doesn't have the internet. We, we were waiting in line for the toilet and. <laughs> said, do I recognize you from somewhere? And I still don't know where I recognize you from. Well, well, is, some, I, yeah. some I mean, I would assume YouTube somewhere at some point. Or do you just say that to everyone? <laughs> I do say that to everyone. That's how I make friends. Ah, <laughs> see. That's how, why do you think I have so many friends That's my with me friend. right now? Right, I was, for realsies. I was, yeah, I was, yeah. And then pretty much after my battery died, Dan asked me for five words. Which is five because there were so few people at the gathering, he gave us an extra word. Which was kind of a little bit unfortunate because I had already thought of four words. And this whole five word thing was totally a surprise to me. So I had to think of five words and I was a little pressed for time because I had to leave. Molly mentioned how the only good German phrases had three words and I was thinking, oh. And then I remembered a phrase that one of my friends taught me that's in German. If you look on the video, it's Ich spiele mit Kindem in dem Keller. I don't speak German. Yeah, obviously. It pretty much translates into I play with children in the cellar, basement, cellar basement cellar. So I ended up using that phrase and I was totally, totally beating myself up on the way home. Like I was like, oh my gosh, how could I choose something so stupid? And even now I'm still giving myself a little bit of grief because like I had the opportunity to speak insight or some sort of thoughtful thought into 30,000 people. And I chose to say an awkward phrase in German. Sure, if a few Germans could actually understand me, maybe I made them laugh. Maybe a couple high schoolers who are taking German. Other people might just think I'm weird. If I could go back to that gathering, my five words would totally be something like, every day is a blessing. Yeah. Something like that. Or be thankful for every... Oh, never mind. Luckily for me, I was only one of the four people who used awkward German phrases, and their phrases were probably more awkward than mine. I happen to know one of the other phrases was, I eat children. So I think that's a little bit better than I play with children in the basement. A little bit of cannibalism there. Overall, I had a really, really, really good time. It was so lovely meeting Dan Brown and all the other people. I wasn't as intimidated as I thought it was going to be. I want to go to another gathering sometime. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really have. Bye! Well, um, alright. Like, you have to go-go or like... Yes. You have to go-go. Okay, yes. so 